in a growing number of states, you can add your ID to the wallet app. But should you? And what can it do? Here's what to know. Real quick, if you want to keep up to date with all the latest Apple news and reviews, hit that subscribe button. We're moving closer and closer to a world where you can ditch your physical wallet. You can already add your credit cards, debit cards, loyalty cards, tickets, boarding passes, and even most recently, your driver's license to Apple Wallet. But the license rollout has been staggered, stymied by state-by-state -state IDs and lots of regulation. Here's how to add your ID to Apple Wallet, what states currently support it, and what you can actually use it for. Plus, I'll share a big update coming to it this fall. Adding your driver's license to Apple Wallet is super easy to do. I just open the Wallet app, tap the plus button in that top right hand corner, and then tap on the driver's license and ID cards. It'll then walk me through the process, including scanning the front and back of my ID. Next, it will scan my face to verify my ID matches what I've scanned. Once that's done, it verifies it with the BMV, and I'm on my way. One thing to note, IDs can only be added to one phone at a time. If you ever get a new phone and struggle to add your ID, this could still be why. It could still be on your old device if you had not removed it or completely wiped it. Currently, I use a MagSafe wallet, which is really handy for holding, you know, one to two cards as well as some cash. I did a whole video breaking down my favorite MagSafe wallets with Apple Find My Tracking built in. So if you want to check that out in the meantime, while we wait for that, you know, holy digital world, I have a link to here for you. There are two hangups towards these new IDs. First, it must be a driver's license or an ID card. Second, it has to be in a supported state. That's a big one. I'm in Ohio, which supports these, but there aren't a ton of other states yet that do. Currently, there are, I believe, 10 locations that support digital IDs in Apple Wallet. They are Arizona, California, Colorado, Georgia, Hawaii, Iowa, Maryland, New Mexico, Ohio, and Puerto Rico. More and more are adding support, though. Some states have pledged support, but not yet implemented it. To keep up to date with this running list, you can always check the link for Apple Insider down in the description. Apple also has a page up on their website as well. So say you live in one of these states and you add your ID to Apple Wallet. What can it do? What's the point? Well, in an ideal world, it would be accepted in any place that your physical ID is accepted. Unfortunately, again, because of the slow rollout, it's not that simple. The most common use for these digital licenses is in airports. Here in Ohio, all the major airports support it. John Glenn International in Columbus, that Akron Canton, Cleveland, I've used it at all of these. It's so easy to walk through the TSA line, just tap your phone to verify, uh, even controlled information is shared, and just keep walking. The only problem is, if you travel somewhere where your digital IDs are not accepted, then you'll still have to use your physical ID when you return. Outside of airports, you should be able to use your digital ID at physical stores to verify things like your identity or age, bars, liquor stores, gas stations, etc. What's more though, it may depend on the state, but in Ohio, there is a free ID checking app. Businesses can sign up for free and they can use this app to verify identities, ages. That sounds ideal, but in my experience, it's very limited. I found maybe one business that had this app to verify my age. Most still requested my physical card to scan the code on the back or swipe it into their legacy POS system. Hopefully this continues to expand as adoption increases among the population. Lastly, in the real world, police should largely support digital licenses. If you get pulled over for speeding, you should be able to present your Apple Wallet ID to verify it. Again, at least in supported states. Of course, there are other uses for digital IDs rather than just in the physical world. Your ID can be used in apps too. Apps that support Apple Wallet ID can verify things like your age or identity. 
This too has been slow though. Apple says Clear, MyChart, Uber Eats, and others will be adding support, though I'm not sure any of those have as of now. But you'd be able to use it for signing up for a credit card, logging into medical records, anything like that. If you do know of any apps that currently support digital IDs, let me know down below in the comments. If not, let me know which apps you'd like to see support them. Starting this fall with iOS 26, Apple making this even better by allowing users to also add passports to Apple Wallet. This is great for those that don't necessarily have an ID. It will be able to verify your age and identity in a very similar way. It still works for travel. One thing I love about these digital IDs is the privacy. You're sharing very limited, granular information. When you hand someone your physical ID, they have all the info there. Here, you can control what you share. Like an app or something may only have access to just your age, and it isn't stored. When you have your ID verified, they don't get to just keep that information. It verifies it, limits it. It's super simple. If I can ask anything of you guys right now, if you want to see more places support it, try to use it. When you go to get your ID verified, ask if they support digital wallets, digital IDs. Many of them won't, you'll have to pull your regular ID, but as more people ask about it, it's gonna get the conversation moving. We may see places, more places, start to use it. So I'm very excited about digital wallets. I certainly hope we see more and more states and businesses add support soon. Let me know your thoughts on them down below in the comments. Otherwise, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.